what's popping everybody i know i'm looking a little busted right now but i'm just chilling at home redoing and organizing my room so i was like you know let me like do my makeup get ready and then i was like for what you guys don't know what i look like when i'm just chilling at home well i don't know how you would but so anyway um i've been in the process of redoing my room first kind of portion of that was redoing my closet and like my shoe area so that's what i did in this video if you guys want to see like my organization tips pretty much how i clean out my closet with poshmark then go ahead and keep on watching Alright, so the first step that we have for picking up the closet is putting together my new furniture. So this stuff is going to go along this wall here and then this stuff is going to go in here. So we're going to work on putting this together and then we're going to move that out and then put this right up there. All right, so we just finished the first shelf. I'm kind of working on clearing this off so that I can slide that right over after. I look so dead, but we just got my dresser. By we, I mean me, myself, and I. So I just got my dresser into my closet. Now I'm gonna try to put up my mirror and then work on the other shelf. Okay, so it's currently day two of my closet redo process. As you guys can see, I finished setting up my shelves and my mirror. And then we moved my dresser. Chill out. They're right in here. And then right now we're going to work on cleaning out my closet. So I'm going to give you guys some of my tips for organizing and just kind of decluttering everything. So we're in my closet right now. What I'm going to do is kind of look through every section. My rule of thumb for when it comes to deciding like what clothes I should keep because I'm the type of person that will look at something and be like, mm, I haven't worn it, but bitch, I might. What if like one day in the middle of summer, I need a freaking puffer jacket. The day might come and if I got rid of it, I'm gonna be real mad. In reality, you don't need all that stuff. If you haven't worn it in the past three or four months, just get rid of it. Be realistic with yourself. You're not gonna wear it. So we're gonna look through my closet right now and take out any pieces that I haven't worn. And yeah. So these are the items that I came out with. I also have some more right over there. But now that I've decided that I'm not keeping these, I'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures of them and list them up on my Poshmark. So if you guys don't know what Poshmark is, it's pretty much just an app where you can buy and sell used clothes. You can also sell home decor, which is like a new thing, I guess, but that's real dope because I have this mirror that I'm planning to sell. Once I figure out how to ship it, I'm gonna list that. And also what I really like about Poshmark is how much stuff they have. You 
guys can find pretty much anything you're looking for whether you're looking for a piece of clothing a certain brand you're looking for like a Louis Vuitton bag you're not trying to spend two racks on you could probably find it on Poshmark for cheaper something that's really dope about it too is they do complimentary authentications I had to say it real slow because sometimes I mess it up they do complimentary authentications for anything that you purchase that's over 500 so if you're a little bit on the edge about it this is the only app that I've seen that does this so this is definitely the place to get your luxury goods without the luxury price you can see my closet right over here this is everything that I'm selling everything that I'm trying to get rid of so if you guys see anything that you're interested go ahead and take a look my link will be down below if you want to go check that out and also comment down below your guys's closets because the last time I did a collab with Poshmark I saw all of your guys's closets and <coughs> He flex with Poshmark. Um, I was lurking on your guys' closets. Hella. So go ahead and comment them down below again. If you guys have any pieces that you think I might be interested in, go ahead and let me know. So if you guys are interested, you could go ahead and download Poshmark using my link down below and using my code Victoria Loops. That will give you $10 off your first purchase. And that could go through my closet or pretty much any other brand in general. Victoria Loops, money off. So yeah, go ahead and check that out down below and get ready to start cleaning out your closet and finding some dope new pieces to add into it. So whenever I take pictures for my posh, I like to get a full picture of it and then sometimes I'll take it with the flash and then I also like to get a picture of the tag just so you guys can see what brand it's from and what size it is. So now that we have kind of an idea of what we're working with, it's time to go ahead and start organizing. I feel like organizing is actually one of my favorite things. I find it really relaxing, which is a little bit different. But how I like to organize my closet is I keep my pants in a separate area. So I have all of them here. I'm going to take out all my extra hangers so that it doesn't get like cluttered in. These are my favorite hangers to use. They're just some felt hangers that I get from Marshalls, Home Goods. They're definitely the place to get them. You can get like a pack of 20 for like five bucks. And the same thing for the pants hangers. I like using these metal ones, like the ones at the store. And I get those from Marshalls as well. So I keep all my pants in one area and then we go into shorts. And then we have skirts. And then I keep all of my matching sets right over here because a lot of them are like skirts with like little tops so this type of hanger i like to put together i don't really have too many matching sets anyway so i like to see them all right here when we're going to like clothes i start with like thicker tank tops like this and then we go into like these spaghetti type strap or like different straps like this one and then we go into my short sleeve shirts so I keep my sleeves like this right over here and then we move into like t-shirts so I have a lot of black t-shirts and that's pretty much it for my short sleeves and then we have long sleeves right over here so I have these three and then we have dresses so I have my long sleeve dresses and then my little spaghetti strap dresses. I have like my hoodies right over here and then we have zip ups and then just like other type of jackets. So I have like this denim one, bomber. This is actually one of my favorite bomber jackets. It's really dope. It's like a vintage Yamaha racing jacket. Yeah, I got this off Etsy by the way. We have my puffer jacket. Then I have some coats, like my trench coats, which I'm not really wearing right now. And I have my little cheetah coat, which I might wear one day. This one is the exception to my rule of thumb. I haven't worn this one ever, but I might. I really want to. <laughs> so that's how I like to organize my closet. Pretty much everything is organized right now. And then between each little section, I like to organize it by color. But what I really want to work on is my actual dresser part because I have like a bunch of random stuff in here. Like it's not even like clothes that I keep in there. I don't even know. And then like more random stuff in here. So right now I'm going to work on getting rid of all of my junk. Because there's a lot like I don't I don't need all that stuff that's in there so I'm gonna go ahead and work through that then I'll give you guys a little tour of what's in my drawers I'm just kind of moving everything out of the drawers 
moving everything out of the drawers onto my bed just so I can see and sort through it all. so we're all done with like the general idea of what everything is keep like underwear and socks in here and then i have bras in there in here i keep like my workout clothes i'm gonna go in and like organize all of them after i just wanted to get like a general idea of what it all is and then in here i'm gonna keep all my pajamas i keep all the clothes that are currently for sale and here we have my junk drawer which is actually really heavy so I'm not gonna open this one too much, but yeah, one junk drawer, so got to my goal on that. organizing all of this my room actually looks like really different so this was kind of like the first step in actually like redoing my room the next step is going to be painting it and then getting like a couple new decor things so i'm really excited to be sharing that with you guys but right now i'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour of the portion that i have done so yeah Alright you guys, that was pretty much it for my video. Um, hopefully you guys like it and are excited to see my full room tour because I'm really excited to show you guys this. I feel like once I get my room done and my studio done, I'll just put it to stop. I'm literally holding his bed right now so that he won't get into it. But um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I feel like once I get like my room and studio done, I'll just feel like a lot better about everything. Do chill. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to check out my Poshmark. <coughs> Remember to check out my Poshmark link down below to get $10 off your first purchase. And yeah, all the links to my furniture, mirror, everything like that will also be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.